Salmon Cave Archives! Knowing and doing are two different things. Hey, welcome back to Airman Cave Archives. So, tonight I thought we would do a little insect search and take a look at some of the beetles that I've got. My dad was a huge Beatles fan, to say the least. But he collected a lot of their records. The thing was though, he always wanted it to be the stereo version, or stereo, however you say it. For collectability, stereo, of course, that's the thing that everybody wanted back in the day. Nowadays, people want to have the mono or one track, not to be confused with the, <coughs> is it a kissing disease or whatever it is. But anyway, this is the mono tracked version of the album. This was my grandmother's, I believe. And so what she would do, she just was a uh, fan of various different groups. And it was kind of cool because my dad said he always loved it whenever he would come and visit my mom. Because my grandmother would be rocking out to all these different groups that he actually enjoyed as well. But for the collectability purpose of this record, yeah, dad, not so much. Glad that you liked the way that it sounded in stereo. Grandma had the right idea by getting the mono tracked version of it, which is more collectible these days. So I'm just glad that they had great taste because I uh, ended up with both versions of the record and uh, just kind of a, a neat opportunity to be able to have those. And the funny thing is, uh, there are several different ones that both of them collected, and so I was fortunate enough to be able to get those as well. Now, the next item I thought we'd take a look at is the Beatles uh, bobbleheads. So, ting, 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 ting. as promised. Now, as you can see, there's a whole collection of them. You've got uh, George and John, and you've got Paul, and we've got Ringo in the back, drumming along. The funny story is, they weren't always a group. And I don't just mean the individuals uh, as a whole that make up the Beatles, but these specific bobbleheads. So originally, my dad had these, and then whenever my mom and him split up, whenever I was younger, they divvied them out. Now, which ones do you think my dad got? Hmm, George? No. Ringo? Uh-uh. So, yeah, instead of splitting up the cool guys, John and Paul, yeah, my dad took John and Paul and left my mom with George and Ringo. And I'm not faulting the guy because, I mean, really, who picks uh, George or Ringo over John and Paul? But I just thought it was kind of funny that uh, he split them up that way. But anywho, yeah, I'm just glad that I was able to, over time, be able to get these guys back in the band together and have them in the Aaron Cave Archives collection. So kind of neat and uh, awesome opportunity to be able to have the whole things. And they still have the little stickers and stuff on the bottom because, of course, my dad wouldn't uh, actually put them on anything. I think that might be where I get some of my uh, nuances from whenever it is uh, in regards to collecting, maybe. But I just think it's neat. And actually, the funny thing is on the, the Ringo, the original um, drumsticks got lost and then chiseled them out a little bit and so that they actually look like the real uh, drumsticks from the original uh, toys whenever they were put into production. So, kind of cool. 
All right, so now you know the story about some of my beetles. Uh, do like uh, Coyote Peterson. Go out on an adventure and do yourself a favor. Find some uh, beetles that you can identify. So thanks for stopping by and see you again next time. M and Cave Archives! Knowing and doing are two different things.